Today we're going to making a microgreen studio, a pizza uh, with all the ingredients from Italy. This uh, kit was invented by a pizza maestro uh, in Italy, in Calabria. So they're using the tomato from Calabria, pure to make tomato puree, the water okay perfect water from Calabria that has uh, no minerals inside so it's perfect and nice and light the flour from Calabria then the yeast okay basically it's a mother yeast the olive oil the oregano and the salt this is a sea salt so all the ingredients from Italy for you to making the perfect pizza for four people okay and now we're going to make this um, mixing together okay all by hand and then we're gonna show you how to make this pizza just open the flour and we're gonna put half of this flour inside this bowl half okay then we're gonna save a little bit of the flour for after when we work the pizza and now I have uh, the water I'm gonna pour in the water in And I'm going to mix it. In the meantime, I'm going to put the yeast in it and then the salt. Okay, and we're gonna mix in again. Okay, we're gonna add the, the rest of the flour. And we're going to mix in again with the rest of the flour. Okay. The flour needs to be incorporated inside the dough. Okay, we mix them together nicely. You can use glove if you want, but I prefer straight by hand. Like a little pizzaiola. Now this is uh, going to be perfect for people to make uh, for children. This is going to be perfect from children to make this home and see if uh, you know they're going to do a good job so they can do a party you know with this type of uh, of kit okay so basically the pizza it's already mixed together we're gonna cook a little i mean we're going to mixing a little bit more okay now the recipe asks for to make it uh, by hand and not using the mixer, okay? So so it's a fun thing anyway, so using it by hand. So I mix, I clean up my hand with a little bit of the extra flour here. Yeah. Okay, and now mixing up again a little bit. And it's really simple. We're going to let this rest for about 15 to 20 minutes this on top and we're gonna let them rest it into a non-draft area okay into a lukewarm area for about 20 minutes okay I just uh, took uh, the dough for the first uh, 20 minutes but uh, I have to say that um, it's best to let this pizza I mean this dough uh, rest for uh, at least I would say half an hour okay or even longer Okay, so don't worry, even if it rests for an hour, it's fine, okay? But uh, on the back of the box, we we'll say about 15 to 20 minutes. I would say, let's go a little bit longer. Okay, so now I have the dough here. I'm going to put on a table, uh, on a cutting board over here, okay? And then I'm going to mix it nicely, a little bit, like this. I'm gonna add just a little flour, as you can see, the dough is very soft, okay? Mix it up nicely like this. Okay, 
and I'm going to cut it in four pieces. Equal. Okay, one, two, four, okay? So I'm gonna add a little bit of flour and then I'm going to roll it by hand like this. It's like a really pizza, you know, like uh, really nice. Okay, just rolling a little bit like this and then I'm going to put it here. And here. As people know that I'm not a pizzaiolo. In Marcello, I don't do any pizza, <laughs> but, but I used to do pizza when I was young, okay? So I will be probably just like you home. All right, and here, we're going to put the pizza here. So now I do the same exactly thing. I'm going to put a, a kitchen tower on top and I'm gonna let them rest again for another 20 minutes to half an hour. 20 minutes passed by and then the dough uh, has raised for the second time and it really looks nice as you can see okay it's right here so now we're gonna take a little flour on the bottom and then you can actually be a pizzaiolo look at this you know now you can actually stretch the pizza look like I said I'm not really a pizzaiolo myself but look at this look how beautiful okay you can actually do with your hands like that now I, I, I'm gonna show you how to make one, okay? Of course now this pizza, if you have a brick oven pizza, you can actually do it in a brick oven pizza. If you have a stone, okay, you can put it on a stone. Most of the people home will not have this. So they will have probably a sheet pan. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on a sheet pan like this. And I'm gonna, with my hand, okay, I'm going to put the oil all around, okay? And I'm going to take the pizza and I'm gonna lay out here like this. Okay, do the same thing. We're gonna do the same exactly thing, okay? Now I'm gonna take the tomato sauce. I'm gonna take the tomato, I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to take the passata now and I'm going to put it into a bowl, a small bowl. Okay. I'm going to add the olive oil in it and the oregano. and the oregano. I'm going to mix it up, everything. And I'm going to put some of this tomato on top of the pizza. In Italy, we don't put as much tomato around. Okay, so if you don't want to stretch the dough by hand, you can always uh, use a rolling pin, okay? So, and you can, if you want to make the pizza, basically the whole thing without being individual, you can do exactly the same thing with a big rolling pin, okay? But that's basically, it's good that way, right? So I'm gonna take this dough and I'm gonna position it here. Okay, as you can see, I put the tomato sauce in also the other pizza. I'm going to put uh, the rest of this tomato. And now we're going to bake it at uh, 480 degrees, okay, for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to put uh, the basil and the parmigiano and the fresh mozzarella, basically to make uh, the margarita. So. Let's take this and we pop it in into an oven. Okay, 
for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes passed by right here. Okay, we're going to add now our special, a little bit of a Parmesan cheese to make it uh, like a margarita. Okay, we're going to put some basil. A little bit more basil, yeah, nice. I love basil, especially on the margarita. Okay, and now I'm going to put place some fresh mozzarella. In this case, I'm using fior di latte mozzarella. Okay, you can use buffalo mozzarella. And I'm going to place it all around the pizza. Okay, I'm not gonna use fake mozzarella. Okay, so only fresh mozzarella. Of course, you can use any other uh, ingredients if you want to put salami, okay? But I'm gonna drop a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit. This is an additional to what the recipe is looking for. So if you don't want to, don't have to, okay? So just, uh, I like to put a little bit more. Okay, perfect. And now we're going to replace in the oven for another six minutes. Okay, we're going to take uh, the pizza out. It's been uh, six minutes and uh, it looks uh, very, very good. The only thing probably I will do different here, I will squeeze a little bit of the milk out of the mozzarella, you know, squeeze them up a little bit so they will be less wet. But to me, it looks uh, fantastic. And I place the pizza in a plate looks uh, very good so now I'm going to cut this pizza I'm going to test it if you people want to make this a little bit crispy it's enough that they're going to um, make it a little thinner okay and then the pizza will become even crispy So now this this pizza is really looks like very professional pizza. Look at this, how beautiful. If that will be into a break oven pizza, uh, basically it will take only a couple minutes to cook. So we can place it this into a plate like this and be served like if it is a professional uh, pizza. Or what you can do, you can cut it in uh, wedges like this. You can cut it in small wedges like that. And then all the kids they can have. Uh, a party home like this now one more thing I want to say if you want to um, using the mozzarella uh, and squeeze the mozzarella and then shred it down a little bit that will be probably more the American way okay it, it, in Italy sometimes we serve like this so let's place it all here like this and the pizza party so let me test it now. It is nice. Wow. Very good. Mmm. Glass of wine. Fantastic. Just like in a real pizzeria. Fantastic product. fantastic pizza with all the ingredients from Italy made by a professional pizzaiolo and now I, I test it it's so fantastic it's crunchy it's light it's not uh, greasy so I would say that it's a very healthy dishes from a Mediterranean diet okay fantastic bon appetito enjoy <laughs>